so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in last video we saw how we can design and develop a raspberry pi based smart reader for the blind people project so basically on that video i got a comment from one of my subscriber he wants same project on the laptop actually he is facing inst to install the library whatever used for this project on the laptop so I, I accepted his request because maybe you also facing the same issue uh, so i accepted his request and Today I will do that project, same project on the laptop. So basically I will, I will tell you the project flow. So we have the one camera, this is logic camera you can see. This is connected to your laptop. We don't require Raspberry Pi for today's video because we are using the laptop. So we, we need this camera, USB camera or also you can use your laptop, laptop camera. So no need USB camera, that is not compulsory part. If you, your laptop having the camera, um, a good camera, then you can use uh, laptop camera also. Okay, so what we will do? we will place one page which having the essay you can see my father essay or anything that paragraph that page having that paragraph we will place that page in front of the camera after that so python code will capture the image of that page and then that whatever the sentences on uh, of that page it's converted into speech form so it is text to speech algorithm uh, so that part we will see so first uh, first we will see the practical demonstration of this project so that you will get idea what you will learn at the end of this video so i will show you how to run the project so basically to run this project you need all these files okay i will put this file on my website you can download this file from the website uh, after you download you will get the zip file you have to unzip that folder and then you will find this file okay so what you have to do you have to open the python whatever the python you install in your laptop open that python like python ideally i have opened that one okay once you open the python go to the file go to the open okay once you go to the open uh, copy this path whatever your file path whatever your laptop path where you you have saved that my files copy that path so i copy that path go here and paste here and once i paste i will click on open button so automatically this file will be open here so what you have to do you have to select capture image from the camera file click on open button okay once you click on open button here you have to uh, uh, like uh, video capture here you can see one so because i am using the usb camera if you you are using the laptop camera change to the zero here I am using USB camera so my my value is 1 because it is accessing the camera port okay so this is one part so after that what you have to do uh, just click on this run button okay so before that one there are some library this library so how to install that library I will tell you after this practical demonstration so wait for that one so just click on this run button and okay so wait for some second okay after some second you can see this uh, cap like this frame will be open this frame is nothing but whatever you, your camera is capturing that image it is showing here like my I, I have placed the page in front of that camera so you can see that is showing here so after that what you have to do you have to just click on this capture and then press Z button so once you press Z button then this image will be captured and whatever the uh, sentences on that image it will convert it into speech form so i will click on z button hi so you can see that converted Al. text form my, my father, father essay here you can see plus and fathers are a significant figure in speaking. 
our lives. Plus fathers provide a sense of security and safety towards their daughters. Plus fathers always influence the kind of friendships and relationships that we form. Plus parents today are breaking stereotypes that only men can pursue their careers, fathers today help around a house while mothers work. Okay, so uh, I will again do the same process again with the another page so that in real time also you can see whatever the page you will put it will read that as it is. So again I go to the run button and click on run model. So wait for some second that camera will be open here. So you can see below the camera is open now. I will change the page front time you can see I, I am changing the page. I will put the another page. So you can see I have put the page also here. And after I put the page, I just click on the Z button. So once I click on Z button, it will print here the statement and then start speaking. Hi. Essay about myself. Plus writing about yourself is going to help you know yourself better. Plus while you write about your strengths, you can write about your weakness too. Plus only you know your passions and dreams, so only you can write about it. Underscore you can write about the various qualities that you. Okay, so you got idea like in real time also I change the page and I show you like whatever the sentences on, on the page it is start speaking. So this is the logic. This is the idea practical demonstration of the project today's project. Now we will see how to install all this library in your laptop. Okay, now we will see how you can install all this library in your uh, laptop. So first library we will see uh, this one, pipe tt sx3. So how to install, copy this name. Okay, I am using the python 3.9.6 version. If this version uh, is not working at your end, then you can use the python 3.8 also or any latest version of python. Okay, copy this file, copy this name and then open the CMD from here. Okay, once you open the CMD, just type here pipe3 install install and then after that paste whatever the uh, package you copy paste and press enter i have already installed that one so it will show uh, the uh, respective package already installed at your end it, it start installing the package same command i have given here you can see in common file so open this in notepad or any uh, not uh, whatpad file or notepad file you can open this command so you can see this so all this command you have to run like i3 this one and this how to install this one i will tell you first this uh, we have installed right now pi3 install this one this command we executed so you can see after execution is already showing that respective package already installed at my side so it will not install that one okay so this is one part now next part is you have to download one exe file which is required for this uh, pi uh, tesseract package so this is basically package which is used to convert string into uh, this one uh, image into string form so for that one you have to download this exe file i will provide this exe file into same folder so once you download all my files you will get automatically this executable file at your end so after that one you have to double click here and once you double click you have to uh, like uh, first first uh, like once you double click i will show you the point what to do Okay, once you double click, you can see it is asking your language. So click on OK. 
then it is already installed at my end so it is showing I like uninstall I will click no button because it's already installed so I will close this program because I don't want to uninstall so at your end you have to double click this file so once you double click this file uh, click on next 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 button and then at one point it will ask you for the path so what path you have to provide just create any folder at, at your C drive user like this C drive user then uh, this Lino then app data and then here you can see I have created this folder tesseract you can see this tesseract underscore OCR this folder I have created so like this you can create one folder here and after that go inside that folder firstly at your end it will be the blank folder so just copy this path and uh, during the installation it will ask you for the path so provide this path to your that uh, uh, that path section after you provide this path then click on next button and once the setup is completed then you will find all this file in your this folder so I please I will repeat again at the starting at the starting there will be not any single file inside your folder for just copy this path and while installation provide this path and after that all this file get automatically installed in your laptop okay after that what you have to do just again open the CMD okay once open the CMD go to the command section and then copy this first command pipe 3 this test right copy this and place paste here and press enter then this library will get installed in your laptop and after install the lab uh, this library in your laptop next library you have to install is cv2 so how to install cv2 you can go to the official website here you can see this is the official website of python and try to install cv2 by yourself if it not installed by yourself please watch my any old video because in my many video I have already explained how to install CV2 library in, in your laptop so I will just show you one thumbnail of any video so you can follow any one video which having the python and face recognition technique or uh, uh, driver slip detection anything so every video I have detail explain how to install open CV like this also this video also you can follow or any video which having the face recognition or uh, this this video also you can follow face mount detection if you don't able to install the open cv at your end anyways if you follow the python official website then i think you can able to install the cv uh, open cv library in your laptop so this is the official website that i, I already given in the text uh, here so, and this is the uh, stack overflow website uh, that article which help you to install this pi tesseract package if you having the difficulty okay so these two website are important for you and this is the official website for opencv okay once you install the uh, this extract ocr library and the python opencv and uh, this third library then your next job is open this code so how to open this code i already told you so in here like at this point you can see here i have provided my path in between these two semicolon you can see these two semicolon so what you have to do you have to erase this part till here okay at your end this txt uh, sorry dot exe you can put as it is black slash exe after that what you have to do go to your tesseract dot ocr this one copy this path and this paste that part here okay so your your complete path will be like this okay and after that change your uh, camera port that's it only then just click on run and run button and your project start working definitely at your end and uh, if you ask me about like uh, explanation of each and every line from the code then please watch my this video because in that video i use the same code only the line i change here this single line this one otherwise each and every code is same so if you want to understand the code just watch this video this video link i will provide in the description i think you understand how to uh, uh, how to run this 
OCR project in your laptop and what are the different types of process you have to follow so if you have any difficulty then please reach out to me uh, I have given my contact number in the uh, description box also you can comment on this uh, video okay thanks for watching this video